AVARS is a global civic organization launched in January 2007 that promotes activism on issues such as climate change, human rights, animal rights, corruption, poverty, and conflict. It works to close the gap between the world we have and the world most people everywhere want. The organization operates in 15 languages and claims over 40 million members in 194 countries, and The Guardian considers it the globe's largest and most powerful online activist network. Co-Founders, Groups, Avars.org was co-founded by Res Publica, a community of public sector professionals dedicated to promoting good governance, civic virtue and deliberative democracy, and MoveOn.org, an American non-profit progressive public policy advocacy group. It was also supported by Service Employees International Union, a founding partner. George Soros is also a major funding agent to Avars. Individuals, Avars's individual co-founders include Rick and Patel, Tom Pravda, former Virginia Congressman Tom Periello, Move On Executive Director Eli Pariser, Australian progressive entrepreneur David Madden, Jeremy Hemans, and Andrea Woodhouse. The board consists of Rick and Patel, Tom Pravda, Eli Pariser, and Ben Branzel. Leadership Avars's founding president and executive director is the Canadian British Rick and Patel. He studied PPE at Balliol College, Oxford University. He received a master's in public policy from Harvard University. He worked for the International Crisis Group around the world, including in Sierra Leone, Liberia, Sudan and Afghanistan, where he says he learned how to bring rebel forces to the negotiation table, to monitor elections, to restore public faith in once corrupt political systems and to spot when foreign forces were being manipulated. He returned to the U.S. and volunteered for MoveOn.org, where he learned how to use online tools for activism. Funding, Campaign Selection Process and Management Since 2009, Avars has not taken donations from foundations or corporations, nor has it accepted payments of more than $5,000, The Guardian reports. Instead, it relies simply on the generosity of individual members, who have now raised over $20 million. Equals Global Campaigns Selection Process Equals, AVAR's global campaigns are managed by a team of campaigners working from over 30 countries, including the UK, India, Lebanon and Brazil. They communicate with members via email, and employ campaigning tactics including online public petitions, videos and email your leader tools. In some cases Avars also uses advertisements and commissions legal advice to clarify how best to take a campaign forward, and stages sit-ins, rallies, phone-ins and media-friendly stunts. Examples of stunts include taking a herd of cardboard pigs to the doors of the World Health Organization to demand an investigation into the link between swine flu and giant pig farms and creating a three-mile human chain handshake from the Dalai Lama to the doors of the Chinese embassy in London to request dialogue between the parties. Suggestions for campaigns come from members, supplemented by guidance from teams of specialists. Once a suggestion has been taken up as having potential, Test a email or poll to 10,000 AVARS members. If the emails receive a sufficient response, the campaign is opened up to all AVARS members. In 2010 The Economist suggested that the way AVARS bunches unlikely causes together may be an asset in a world where campaigns, like race and class, can still segregate people, not reconcile them. Ideology, AVARS has united practical idealists from around the world. Director Rick and Patel said in 2011 we have no ideology per se. Our mission is to close the gap between the world we have and the world most people everywhere want. Idealists of the world unite. Reception Some question whether Avars is focus on online petitions and email campaigns may encourage laziness, transforming potential activism into clicktivism. Malcolm Gladwell says that petition tools do not create close-knit, disciplined and tenacious networks of activists. In February 2012, Avars raised money for the evacuation of Paul Conroy from Syria, a mission that led to the deaths of 13 activists in Syria. A New Republic article accused Avars of making false claims about their own role in the evacuation. Gillian York has accused Avars of lack of transparency and arrogance. 
The defense of our nature as a Euro show Euro S blog has accused Avars of taking credit for the success of the Fitch Olimpa anti corruption bill in Brazil, which Luis Nassif reposted. The Art of Annihilation blog have also published an investigative report. In 2008, Canadian Conservative Minister John Baird labeled Avars a shadowy foreign organization tied to billionaire George Soros. Another conservative Canadian, Ezra Levant, tried to make a link between Soros and Avars.org as an indirect supporter through Move On, but the article was later retracted as baseless and an apology was offered to Soros. See also, MoveOn.org, 38 Degrees, Get Up. Internet Activism, Slacktivism, Change.org, Citizen Go. References. External links, AVAAZ homepage. Avars is channel on YouTube, Avars.org's Rick and Patel on BBC World's Hard Talk. November 3, 2007